Hello Internet, James Allen from Out of Bay PC Game Reviews, and today playing Dungeon Bowl, which is a kind of standalone expansion to Blood Bowl, which is a game that was released uh, a couple years ago, I believe, uh, for the PC based on the board game set in the Warhammer universe, and this is based on the board game, you know, version based on Blood Bowl, based on the Warhammer universe. Uh, first thing you'll notice is that there's no single player content at all, which is very disappointing. Uh, there's no tutorial, so you have to actually read the manual, uh, which is very antiquated. There is a dungeon editor where you can go in and actually uh, edit the maps, which is kind of cool. So we'll take a look at that first. Basically, Dungeon Bowl is just like Blood Bowl, except for two things. One is you only need to score once. So you have to get the ball and then bring it to your opponent's spawn location one time and then the game's over, so it's a lot faster. Another thing is, is that the balls are in these chests. There are six chests and five of them will blow up and kill your player. And the other one uh, contains the ball. And then the other thing is, is that there's these teleporters, as you can see one right here and over here. But if you send a player into a teleporter, they uh, randomly appear at one other teleporter, so you actually don't know where they're going to go. So it adds a very, very random element to the game, which may be good, but also makes it almost impossible to plan your attack if you start using teleporters. So here's the editor. You can see there's all the different types of things you can add in there. So that's cool. And it uh, they can actually be made official uh, online, which is interesting. Oh, I've got to wait for all the people to leave the stadium. So the primary mode of play here is online. As I said, you can do LAN, you can do hot seat, uh, but it's all online so basically first thing you'll have to do is create a team which I already did so I'll load up my team you start out you have to buy players you have to have at least 11 but you can have up to 16 they all have different positions uh, on my team I have a thrower which is better at throwing the ball obviously these are all the different stats you have the movement the strength agility armor and then they level up which unlocks more skills uh, I have a couple catchers have a war dancer which I guess is like super good or something I have a slow strong tree man which blocks so you just stick him at your scoring zone I have a couple fast halflings and some linemen for blocking basically So another thing you can do is you can buy equipment. Uh, the three things are the fan factor, which uh, basically affects like who gets to go first. The apothecary can re-injure or re-roll an injury, so it makes it so the person's not as injured. And you can get some re-rolls during the match too, if you have the money for it. So I'll actually get a re-roll. Uh, and then save that. Uh, when you create a team, I'll just do new team here. You'll notice that over here on the colleges, there's only three. The actual board game has ten. So I think that screams future downloadable content that they'll make you pay for. Uh, I can't see that it would be difficult to add more of the teams in here because they. Each team only has three different races in it. So I think it's kind of ridiculous that they only give you three out of the ten that are in the board game. And that coupled with the lack of single player content and the lack of a tutorial makes this kind of questionable uh, purchase, even for $15. So it is $15. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, to wait for a match. And if I don't get a match, then I'll probably just play by myself in the land mode just so I can at least show you some gameplay. 
and it might be interesting to see whether I'm better than myself or not. So uh, we'll wait for that and see what happens. All right, I have to say that was actually pretty quick. It took about 10 seconds. Uh, so I'm going to try to purchase some things. Uh, let's see. I don't really need any bribes. Let's do one reroll. You can also buy star players before the match. Although they're all very expensive. So you can't really do it anyway. So, nobody bought anything, so here we go. You see, based on the ratings, his team is a little bit better than mine. But we'll see what happens. Very ominous. Uh, as you'll notice on the map, there's a lot of obstacles you can actually push players into. Uh, and eliminate them from the game. One thing that I always forget to do that uh, they need to have a prompt for is that every turn you can call somebody in and, uh, from your bench and then they will randomly appear at one of the teleporters. And I always forget to do that. I always have to remind myself to do that first every turn or else I'll totally forget. Uh, you start out playing six of your players on the map and then you bring new players in because uh, other players will get injured Whenever you use a teleporter, there's a one out of six chance of the player just disappearing. I guess the teleporter technology in Dungeon Bowl isn't exactly foolproof. So, away we go. Alright, I'm blue. So here's my team. Oop. Maybe. No, won't even let me scan it. There's him. Won't let me move it while he's going. So there's a timer for everything online. Press the escape key. Activate menu. Oh, there we go. Alright. That's him. I'm blue. There's me. So I gotta find the ball. You can see this very tiny basically useless mini-map. Find everything. So first thing you have to do is decide which six players you want to start out with. This is a very narrow pathway to to the goal. So the first six players you start with you have to probably be the ones that you want to keep for defense, because the rest of the players will spawn in randomly at one of these teleporters. Alright, so let's see what I have here. I have a catcher, a halfling, a war dancer, a lineman, a lineman, and a catcher. So I'm gonna swap him out with the treeman and keep him at my base. The rest of these guys are. Actually, I'm going to take this catcher, take this halfling and swap him out. And where was that catcher? I'll oh, swap him out. So I'm going to put all my defensive people in. At the beginning. Alright, I'm first. Here we go. So we'll have him go here. You have to make all your moves with the player. And I'm gonna just stand him right here. Alright, I'm gonna have you check this out. Now if you open up a chest and it doesn't have the ball then the round is over. So, but I have to finish the actions. <laughs> huh. 
bitch, I got it. Wow, that was quick. Usually it's like... Every, uh... Thing explodes. So you got the ball, good for you. Alright, time to... Get out of here. Like I said, this is a quick game. I think that's it for my team. Yep, that's it. And then let me... Bring my catcher in. And there he is. See, like I said, I always forget. Don't need to do any more dungeons, no, do I? Or chests. Because I already got it all. Alright, and that's the end of my turn. So, oh, one. Manual camera. So we'll see what he has to do. That was quick. Usually it's a couple chests at least that blow up first. So now I gotta figure out how I wanna get to the other side. Do I wanna do it traditionally by just walking? Or do I want to use the teleporter and maybe get closer quicker? With a map like this, I don't know. I think it depends on what happens to my guys when we start meeting in the middle. And where my guys teleport into. I'm gonna keep my tree guy there. I'm gonna try to keep bring my other two guys up and then try to keep everybody blocking for the ball carrier. Let's see what happens. Uh, when you have a higher strength than another player and you're standing next to them, you can roll to determine what happens to them, so you can push them. Yeah, he brought his guy in. Uh, so you can push them into these fire, or whatever that's supposed to be, traps. So we'll just wait and see what he does on his turn. is doing a blitz, which is a run and a an attack. A block is what they call attack, so that wiped that guy. Alright, my turn. First, I always forget, so let me bring in my lineman, because I'm on offense. There he is, which is actually not too bad, although he's slow as crap. So I'm going to actually warp him again. Let's see where he ends up. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Alright. Let's guess my guys will go about there. Yeah, that was actually probably a good guess. So I think I'm just gonna run run to the opponent goal. Block these guys from uh, getting my ball carrier. Alright. Are there any teleporters on this side? Not really. So I'm just gonna run him up. That passer I had earlier doesn't really matter. I'll try to get him up. Hi, how's it going? A thrower. I'll try to bring him back. Now, since he's moving away from that guy, he has to roll to make sure he dodges him, which he did. You know, he's over there, but he's going to get attacked next turn anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Now my tree guy. All right, that's all I got. So end the turn. Hopefully, I got enough guys up here to prevent them from moving up. One complaint I have is it's hard to tell who's on which team. Oh, there's your teleporter. He got lucky with that. 
Like, who's on my team here? Can you even tell? I can't even tell. Like, I know who it is. I know it's these four guys and not those three guys, but, like, the colors are insanely unuseful. If there are even colors, I don't even know if there's any colors. Something's going on. Yeah, he's got his three guys lined up, so I'm gonna have to roll past all of them to get to the goal. Now you can see the colors when they're clipping within the walls. Like there's blue. <laughs> Maybe that's the way you can tell. There you go, that makes it way easier. So the key is to make it so you can't actually see them. Yep, somebody's blitzing. Oh, there he is. Yep, there goes. I told you that guy was gonna get knocked down again. He's just kicking butt. Alright. Let's see what happens. He's kind of flanking me here. That's another thing is that with the narrow hallways and stuff. Alright, let's bring in somebody. Catcher. Behind. See if I can throw it past these guys. Nope. Alright, let's see. Maybe I can hand it off. No, he actually dodged twice. Okay, I'm gonna pass the ball off. Which means since he moved already, he can't actually do anything with it, but... Alright, now I'm gonna try to attack him. Attack her down, attack her down. That's not good. And that turns the ball over to the other team. Or it turns control over to the other team. That's why you need to bring in your reinforcements first. So I'm hoping I can pass it to this guy and then send him on his way. But we'll see what happens. That honestly was not that bad of a deal because I wasn't gonna uh, really do anything else that turn anyway because I had my passer guy already move. That was pushing me. Yeah, that's what the little arrow means. It attacks you pushing. So that's actually good for me. It pushes me closer. That's bad if you're near a trap, though. But it's fortunate I'm, we met each other in this hallway. I'm going after my catcher now. Some reinforcements. The time limit seems to be just about right. It gives you just enough time, but not too much time. Kind of keeps the game moving. And the blitz is going to push me. Pushed a guy into a teleporter and then they died. That's uh, not good, is it? 
It's kind of got pretty good defense set up here, I must say. Running out of time. <laughs> it's got me surrounded. Really need to pass this ball off. Alright. Ah, oh, it's out of my range. Dang it. Alright, well, let me move him into range. Gotta roll a five for that. Alright. Okay, four, here we go. You gonna do it? Uh, no. Missed it. That's unfortunate. I honestly cannot tell who's on which team here. This is just a mass of humanity. I really need to make the teams more obvious. I mean, here I can tell, but that's completely unusable. guys to another part of the map. That's actually kind of a cool strategy, to be honest. Wish I thought of it. guys in their way. Hopefully I'll be able to tackle them out. This guy around here. Since he got teleported. I haven't moved these guys in forever. Have them guard this hallway. Right, call on my reinforcement. See, can't tell. This probably will not work. Oh, actually.
I guess he's going to try to go around the other way. Yeah, I have a couple guys in the way. But right by, huh? Or not. I don't know why I don't get to pick the dice. I never get to pick the dice. Pushed. I don't think I. Yeah, I just like that one guy. All of his his entire team's around the ball. He's gonna push me in a teleporter. Where is that? Way over there. Thanks. He should be good. I mean, I only have one guy knocked down. Pushing my guys out of the way. I'm gonna have to move my linemen up, have them guard over here. If I can get, get them to. I don't know which way they're gonna go, they might just go that way. It's probably the way I would go. Yeah, that was smart, because now I'll have to dodge past those, patch that guy, even though he's not very good. guy because he needs more guys on this map Always a good place to be because you have to roll to get past you. Right, first thing I'm gonna do is call in reinforcements just in case I get a bad roll or something. She's huh? screwed over there too. Try to warp him out. Yeah. Oops. So push or down. Let's do down. Cleared him out of the way. So, move him there. <sighs> Who's left? And I think that's good. Let me see who I have left. That guy. I don't think he's gonna go around. Push him. Uh, no, I don't. Do I have anybody left? I think it's worth moving that guy. 
20 seconds anyway. Alright, see what you can do, buddy. Oh. I wouldn't even waste my time going that way, I'd just go that way. Why do you even bother pushing me? Just run out of the dang way. Just go. Mini map is so small. We need to make it about four times bigger. Just use up this whole part of the screen. Oh, I'm about to die. Yeah, over here. Don't be. Who cares? That guy's way out of it anyway. I'm gonna have to break him. Perhaps. This guy here. Just run him up. Because these two guys here are going to restrict that direction. Oh. Especially now. You know, if they dodge all three of them. Oh, well, he's down anyway. Bad to have so many people on your team. So oh, two minutes to move. Well, no, that person got injured out of the game. I can dodge my U again, aren't I? All right, let me get my reinforcement. this person. Defender down, defender push down, please. Ah, uh, yes I do. Alright. Wow, that person has a lot of range. Alright, let's go all the way over here. I get knocked down. Yeah. yeah, that was gonna happen. It's getting there. Really, the only guys that matter right now are these three. They're going with the ball. We're going to have to basically 
get him this turn and we'll probably be able to run it in. I have to be my tree guy. Be able to hold the point there. <laughs> it's like so many people laying on the ground. This person I don't even care about right now, to be honest. Like four people on my team. Another thing this game needs is a list of all your players. All you can do now is just page up through them. Which is okay, but not great. With the mini map being so insignificantly small. Tree guy now. There we go. He did absolutely nothing. Dungeon Mole. Hope you enjoy the video. See you next time. Bye.